Want to be able to one-shot anybody across the battlefield in Warzone? Or are you tired of getting one-shot and want to do the same thing to them? Well, today I'm going to tell you guys what you need to do in order to do that. Esava, this is Laserboard, and welcome to today's video, guys. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the one-shot build that's going to have you guys kind of just wrecking people left and right. And I'm pretty sure by now, you have been getting wrecked by this particular gun. Now, there is a lot of misinformation regarding this weapon. I believe uh, there are a lot of people who made videos who said that you have to run the gun a certain way. And we're going to debunk that and we're going to actually gonna tell you guys exactly what you need to do in order to get this shot to one shot. But before we do, I have a question for you guys. What is your favorite rifle, marksman rifle that is not in the game right now that's been in other Call of Duty games? Please let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to see how these builds are put together, how these loads, loadouts are made, or you just want to need to get a win and you haven't gotten a win yet, or you're trying to get more wins, definitely stop by over our Twitch. We help everybody not only get wins, but there is a fun and enjoyable environment live on stream so make sure you guys check it out we stream daily on twitch the link is down below hope to see you guys over there all right so we're going to be talking about the ebr yes the ebr is able to one shot there is one more weapon currently right now in the game that's also able to one shot which i'll have a video on shortly but in addition to this one right here guys this is able to one shot and the misconception about this weapon is everybody's saying that you actually need a skin in order to make it one shot that is not correct guys we tested this yesterday on stream for those of you who tuned did you guys saw that the skin does not matter to actually make this gun shoot but you do need to have a certain loadout to make it work now the gameplay you're seeing right here you guys are definitely going to want to stay tuned for the entire gameplay one of the coolest funnest gameplays we had we were able to get king his first win on warzone so he was pretty excited so i'm hope you guys uh enjoy the rest of the gameplay once we finish out with the loadout so let's go ahead and dive in and talk about this one shot loadout there is so much misconception about this loadout we're going to put out the loadout and if you put this loadout you do not need a skin yes guys you do not need a skin i know a lot of people have made videos saying that you need a skin that it's pay to win you do not need a skin we actually tested this yesterday on the stream my boy sketch which was actually the first person i would say to discover that the ebr was one shotting and it was kind of my bad because i should have made a video when he told me about it and i didn't make a video i thought it was a mis like everybody knew about it but now that everybody made videos you know everybody's kind of using the ebr but i'm gonna tell you guys exactly what you're gonna need to make this happen now a lot of people are suggesting that all you need is one of these skins and once you apply one of these skins like the line breaker or the the, uh, the swamp weed it's going to automatically give you the one shot mechanic that is not true you do not need the skin you do not need the skin to actually have that one shot effect what you need to do is you need to make sure you have these attachments and once you have these attachments you guys should be good to go so let's go ahead and open up the ebr and we actually tested this yesterday on stream we took away the skin we took away some optics and uh, once we found out what is actually allowing this weapon to one shot we don't know because the stats might be a little bit confusing but you do not need a skin so what you want to do for best here monolithic suppressor what it's going to do is going to give you faster aim uh sound suppression of course you don't want to you know be on the radar when you're shooting some people don't even like to run this uh, they don't really care they get picked up on the radar uh, but I do. I feel like it's very helpful, especially end game. Uh, so sound suppressor, damage range is going to give us a little bit of range. Now for our barrel, guys, we are going with the, the Force Tac Precision 22.0. What this is going to allow us to do? It's going to allow us to do a couple things. It's going to give us a little bit more range, which we want to use this kind of like a sniper. Uh, we kind of theoretically want to use this as a sniper. It's going to give us more control. And this weapon does lack a little bit on control, and getting that additional control is going to help us quite a lot. And it gives us one thing that we really want, which is weapon velocity. So we don't want to be compensating for our shot too much. We want to make sure that where we aim, that is where the bullet is going. And this weapon velocity is going to help out a lot. Now, some people have said to use the Force Tag 20, rich one right here. Uh, I believe this one is a little bit better just because this gives you a little bit more control than the 20 right here. So the Force Tag Precision one, uh, 22, is a little bit better in my opinion. As far as lasers, people do like to use lasers because it does give you more accuracy. It gives you a little bit more, con uh, more mobility and it also gives you more control. In addition to that, it helps you line up the shot. I'll come back to this one and tell you guys what you should change if you guys decide to go with a laser. Now, some people also say that they don't like to have optics in this. I think if you don't run an optic on this gun, you're kind of 
losing the fact that this is going to be like a sniper uh you know there are a couple options here there are multiple actually this is one of the guns that has multiple options a lot of people like the internal hybrid uh the vlk 30 and they also like their thermals because thermals are actually pretty good some people like monolithics uh, me personally, I, I would say that the best one that, that I found the uh, that it's really good. It's either any of these two thermals, or I like this one right here, which is the VLK 3.0 optic. I think this one actually fits very well for the gun, and it gives you a nice field of view. But if you feel like you need a thermal, definitely slap a thermal in here. Now for the stock guys, we are gonna go with this one right here, and I'll show you guys. All of these are really bad, but the fact. Uh, uh, FTAC precision combo is a really good one. Now, this is the one that you're going to want to replace if you do not mind having a laser. Me personally, I never like lasers, but in this gun, I really don't mind it. So I always like adding it here because it's going to give us more accuracy. It's going to give us more range and it's going to give us more control. I do not apply stock. And last thing I apply here is, of course, a underbarrel. And we're going to go with this one right here. So this, you could either go with the Merc foregrip. Or you could go with the Ranger foregrip. So two of them do different things. One gives you a little bit of hip fire accuracy, which I believe we don't need. That's why I don't pick the Merc. And the other one gives you aim stability. So I like the Ranger foregrip. I think it's the best one to apply for this class. And if you guys run this class the way I'm showing you guys right here on screen, trust me, you guys, you guys are going to be one-shotting people without a problem. Now, some people do suggest to run an ammunition here. I don't think you need that much ammo in order to be successful with this weapon i think by the time you land the third shot you're pretty much down the person so you guys should be good to go but overall in general this is what you guys want to be rolling with now uh this is what i recommend if there's something you guys would change from my setup please let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are running it in a different variable if you're running different attachments try this out and i can guarantee you guys you guys will be getting more kills if you put it this way thank you guys for watching and i will catch you guys on the next video down them Okay, behind us? Oh, to your right. Yeah, anybody got plates? I'm gonna need some plates. I have a no. oh, Actually, I could buy some right here at this buy station. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe shop. Who's that coughing? I think it was hot. Oh, I shot. Yo, get armor plates if you guys need it, or? I don't have enough. I can drop you some here. I'm gonna drop you some outside. I'm already using this armor plate. There's this buddy. I got the plates. I know there was people on the left, so we just gotta be careful because I mean, I don't know if they're still up in that building. Yep, yep, they're running out right here. They're coming on us right here. Yo, he said, oh, yo, where, where? I'm taking fire. Where in the world is he? He's all the way far back. Uh, try to arrest me behind this one right here. A dude right here? Less than 10 enemies okay, remain. 
Found him. Time's up. Get to the safe zone. Dude, right here. Take him back. Pop in smoke. I just lay on the roof. Watch the stabs, brother. I see him. Try to take right? I don't have heartbeat. Yeah, try to get those to your right. Let's get it. That's how we do it, boys. Woo! Hype up the stream, boys. Hype up the stream. We buy my boy King of Win. Let's get it. Woo! GG. GG, boys. Hype it up.